Baker Mayfield did something last night that he has rarely ever done in a Cleveland Browns uniform. Also, we have the Cincinnati Bengals this Sunday hosting the Bengals down in Cincinnati. Let's talk about it. Welcome back. Thanks for staying tuned in. But before we get into all this, Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns hosting the Cincinnati Bengals this Sunday. Before we get into all that, please, if you're new, stop on by for the very first time. Subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification bell. So please, join the family from a Browns fan to another or a football fan to another. Please, subscribe. And hit that like. Join the family. Join Dog Pound Nation. This is Brown's Therapy right here. This is the channel. If you need therapy, this is where you want to be. We talk about the games. We talk about the aftermath. We talk about the upcoming games. We talk about everything with the Browns. So please, join the family. Subscribe. And hit that like. Please, hit that like. It gets my videos out there. The more you hit that like, you know, the more views I get, and it helps my channel grow, and I can't do it without you. So please, like the channel. All right, anyway, so let's get into this. Baker Mayfield, what? He did something last night that he has rarely ever done in a Cleveland Browns uniform. Yes, indeed, he came back from double digits down to beat the... Los Angeles Raiders, or the Las Vegas Raiders. Excuse me, Las Vegas Raiders. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I couldn't believe it, okay? I did not watch the game last night, but I woke up this morning to go to work, and I always have the NFL Network on, and uh, you know how in early mornings they play the, you know, if there's a primetime game, they play it, the, you know, from the night before. They, you know, play it all through the night, and uh, I heard the announcers say the Baker Mayfield's done the unthinkable. Blah, blah, blah. All this crazy stuff. Baker Mayfield was lit it up tonight. And I went, what? Grabbed my attention. Indeed, he did. All right. In the fourth quarter, with three minutes and change to go, Baker Mayfield was down, I believe, like 13 points. And he won the game for the Rams. All right. Now, here's the crazy thing. Baker Mayfield was in a Rams uniform about, I don't know. 42 hours, <laughs> 48 hours, two days. You know, I think it was less than less than two days, less than 48 hours. I think they said 42 hours. And he was playing, okay? Even if he didn't win that game last night, I've read and listened that you still had to give props to Mayfield. All right, Mayfield, you know, he's got talent. He's got talent, all right? But 48 hours? Doesn't even know the playbook and played like that. I don't think I've ever seen a NFL quarterback play to that level in that short amount of time. You know, being with a team, he was claimed off waivers on Tuesday. And oh, dude, if I was a Raiders fan, oh my god, oh my god. Now, a lot of you guys thought Baker Mayfield's career was over. Okay, including myself. I honestly did. I thought he his career was gone, done, shot. He was it was over for him. All right, after being in Carolina, and obviously when he got released, I thought you know obviously some team. I thought the Niners were going to pick him up. To be honest with you, uh, but the Rams took a shot. All right, with Goff or not Goff, uh, Stafford being hurt, um, they picked him up. You know, and he lit it up, lit it up. All right, on three minutes and change, he came back and did the unthinkable and won the game for him. I mean, he was dropping dimes. He was, I mean, unbelievable. It was unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, but we have to think about that the Rams are a totally different team than the Carolina Panthers. They actually have a good coaching staff with the Rams, all right? And the Rams have a similar offense as what the Browns ran as well. So that helped out tremendously uh carolina is just a bad team all the way around all right they are a very very bad team and i knew when mayfield went there it was not going to be good 
it really I, I just knew it was not gonna be good and you know it was the best thing that he could have done was ask for a release and they granted it and the Rams picked him up and with that game I know it's, it's small sample size there with the Rams but he might be able to you know save his career you know I don't know how long Stafford's gonna be out but he might have just saved his career last night all right, and McVay, I'm sh- he's a very good coach, and he's and he's no dummy. So I I truly believe he's gonna work to Mayfield, you know, work with Mayfield and work to his strengths and play, you know, you, the play calling to his strengths and a lot of play action and a lot of bootlegs and get that running game going. But the Rams have no running game, as we all know, Cam Akers and Henderson. They're ah. but that's where it might kind of nip itself in the butt. Uh, but I think Mayfield did save his career last night, and I think the Rams is a good, you know, a great fit for him. All right, like I said, this is the same offense, all right, that where he had success in, when he did have success in Cleveland. So I was happy to see Mayfield. I, I mean, I don't, I know a lot of people hate Mayfield. I don't hate him, and I mean, I don't hate any player, but hate as a football, you know, when it comes to football as a football player. Um, I want to see the kid have success. I really do. Uh, I don't wish him to fail or anything like that. So I was glad to see that. Um, you know, so I hope from here on out he has success. I think Baker Mayfield he has to shut his mouth and listen. That's the biggest thing when it comes to Mayfield. He is always quick to talk. He doesn't think before he talks. But I think he has to mature and shut his mouth and listen. All right, and I think he's going to be okay if he does that. Uh, but yes, I was happy to see he had success last night. Um, so, you know, hopefully from here on out, you know, you know, we'll see more of that out of him. I really, you know, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you do you want to see Baker have some success? Because I do. I'm not. I'm not a Baker hater, you know. But I, you know, I did feel that we needed more than Baker, you know. After you know what we've seen. You know, I think Baker can only take you so far, and we've seen that. But I think he can win if he has the right, you know, surrounding cast and coaching. So that's that with Baker. So just let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree or disagree with what I had to say about Baker? All right. I know a lot of you Baker haters out there. Don't hate, man. Don't hate. All right, he's out of our he's off our team, you know. I mean, he did do a lot for Cleveland. You can't, I mean, all you Baker haters, think about that. Think about what that kid did. He brought football back to Cleveland. He brought winning football back to Cleveland. He did contribute, not all by himself. He did contribute to put, you know, a change with this team. He did. You can't say he did because he did. He brought some swag, and we all know he did. And he opened all the Bud Light coolers throughout the city of Cleveland. And, you know, so you got to give him props. Let me know. You agree or disagree. So, anyway, we got the Bengals coming up this Sunday down in Cincinnati. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous about this game. All right. But I think Cleveland, if, you know, if Watson can play average a little above average, I think we have a shot. We the, the key is gotta get Nick Chubb going. All right, they're gonna try to, you know, I I can see Cincinnati stacking the box because I know they're gonna think we're gonna try to run the ball, but we have to we have to get that Chubb going. Chubb Chubb train. All right, we gotta run Chubb. I don't care. You stay with it. If it's not working early, stay with it. Don't abandon it. Don't put it all on Watson to try to win the game because then we're gonna lose. All right, so that's key. Get Chubb and Hunt going early. You know, that's that's the key. I'm telling you, I think that's our only shot. And like I said, I think Stefanski's got to come up with a plan to get Cincinnati's defense spread out, let Watson use his legs, you know, because I think that we have to use Watson in there, you know, run, run a lot of RPOs, all right, because, you know, until Watson gets comfortable with these receivers, you know, and the other thing is, it's coming down that Amari Cooper is questionable. That is huge. If we lose Amari Cooper this Sunday, oof, 
damn, that's going to hurt. But uh, he came out and said that he thinks he's going to be okay to suit up Sunday. So we'll see. Cross your fingers. But uh, like I said, yep, yeah, we got to get Njoku going. He's gonna, he's back. He's playing. Defense has got to, you know, get pressure on Burrow because we all see pressure on Burrow. He is not good. All right, we have Jamar Chase back. Um, so it's going to be tougher, but I think we can do it. I think we can. All right. Um, like, you know, we have, we have Cincinnati's number as of late. So we will see. Uh, but key is get that running game going. No dumb penalties. Control the clock. I think we're going to be okay. All right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think the prediction of the score will be this Sunday against the Bengals? My, my prediction. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the Browns winning this one. I think they, they're desperate. They, you know, they're going to win this game. I just feel, I feel like they're going to win this game. My prediction, I think it's going to be the Cleveland Browns 27, the Cincinnati Bengals 17. 27 17. I really, truly believe the Browns are going to win this game. So let me know in the comments below. You agree, disagree, and give me your prediction. Also, if you're new, stopping by for the very first time, join the family. Please subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification bell. Everybody have a great rest of your night. Have a great weekend. And go back!